Hello and welcome to today's tutorial by Quick Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can fix performance issues in Adobe InDesign. And yeah, before we get into it, I uh, just want to say that I have three different ways on how to improve the performance and I want you to stick around until the last fix or the the second fix because the first one is like an easy fix you may already have tried it so if you already tried one of the fixes then I just want you to skip to the next fix and yeah I would really appreciate if you could leave a like subscribe uh, leave a comment it would really support the channel and um, now let's get started so first of all I just want you to know that there are different reasons for a program to not run smoothly. Um, first of all, we will have to navigate to our taskbar and press right click. Open up the task manager and um, I will maximize it now so you can see um, everything. And yeah, basically what you can see here is how all the programs that are running uh, currently on my PC are uh, using up the CPU, are using up um, my memory, disk, network and GPU. So if you have a program who is especially um, using a lot of GPU or CPU, uh, these, two, um, these two show you how these, um, these programs uh, which are running currently are affecting the performance of your PC and you see 50% is a very high uh, indicator so um, OBS is the program I use for recording so I'm not going to close it but if I would like to uh, clean up uh, if you I want to improve performance on a program which is currently running then I could uh, press right click and press end task this uh, if I press end task it immediately closes the program, the application, and uh, it will free up a lot of GPU and CPU. Uh, in my case, especially a lot of GPU. So if you um, uh, if you want to um, free up GPU or CPU, uh, it's necessary to take a first look at the um, task manager. And if you want to have a more detailed look, you can also look at um, uh, the performance tab where GPU and the CPU performance is uh, shown in a graph. And also an important indicator is the memory usage. Um, and for example, I have a 32 uh, GB memory, which is uh, a lot. So if, if the program uh, it's taking up a lot of memories. Um, you should consider upgrading your. You should uh, upgrade your RAM. And yeah, I would consider um, if that's your problem to just look up uh, a, um, a website which uh, shows you uh, different price or it's like comparing prices from uh, a RAM um, and. Yeah, by additional memory, by uh, upgrading to 32 GB RAM. And yeah. Now let's continue to the second fix. So the second fix will uh, only help if you have NVIDIA and NVIDIA graphic card. And yeah, NVIDIA graphic cards uh, are, easily, uh, are easily accessible. So if you have an NVIDIA graphic card, you can just go to your NVIDIA settings, uh, press right click, and you don't want to go to GeForce Experience. That's for games. We don't want that. You want to go to Control Panel, click on it. Uh, so you're just going to go on this uh, little arrow here and press right click and press on NVIDIA Control Panel. And then, uh, as I already selected it, go to Adjust Image Settings with Preview. And uh, my PC is uh, has a uh, good enough graphic card so I can uh, choose let uh, 3D application decide but if your PC struggles to hold up the performance of a program any application 
uh, you should go down to use my preference settings quality and um, go down to performance and if you do that and press on apply i'm not going to do that because i'm uh, i will just select let the 3d application decide as i had before um, but if you do that you can um, save up some some performance um, from your graphic card trying to always achieve the best quality for everything so um, if you just do this uh, you just uh, choose the performance mode it will definitely uh, better your performance and yeah so the third fix i have for you is in the control panel you can go to the search search bar down here and press con or, and type in control panel or i have a, like control panel right here i'm gonna double click it and um, you want to go here to system system and security then go to a stream as administrative tools administrative tools and press on it and you see here there are a lot of things to see um, but basically there are only two things that concern us first of all it's a disk cleanup uh, it may be possible that the files from one of your disks from your hard drive or your ssd are um, polluted with um, short temporary files which slow down programs your pc in general so you want to do some disk cleanups from time to time to better the performance so i'm going to double click this cleanup and i want you to think about or look up where your program your application is saved and then select the drive where your program uh, is saved mm, i'm just gonna do volume d and then you're gonna press ok and basically uh, what you see here you're gonna just select um, recycle bin and you, the shader cache is not of, uh, not from concern uh, not of concern for you you're just gonna press clean up system files and uh, yeah then some temporary files will be deleted uh, which may uh, which may are um, which may reoccur after some time so you have to perpetuously um, do this cleanup and yeah you can also do this with your ssd i can do it uh, as well and mm, as you see with your ssd there is uh, a lot um, more to select so i'm just gonna go over that uh, in a, with a second so you see uh, especially uh, my windows update cleanup is very big uh, so we definitely want to select this and um, basically you can select whatever you want here but um, you should always be should always be um, careful with um, something with with uh, with a button which has system or windows after it because um, sometimes you delete some important files and then you have to reinstall windows which you don't want to do so if it's not like um, a system error memory dump files is okay because uh, there are only mem error messages and error mini dump files are also fine but as you see that's not like it's only uh, 7.6 um, megabytes so you can you can press that up for sure um, but error reports that's also fine but this, uh, i'm always careful with the direct x shader cache cache and delivery optimization files they are not even that uh, that big you know it uh, won't impact your pc performance uh, only if you have like a very very small storage uh, for uh, uh, it's very very small uh, SSD but yeah basically um, we're just gonna press OK here and um, you see that I haven't done the cleanup in a while for my SSD so uh, I will also get some performance back as you see here 16.1 uh, gigabytes will be freed up and yeah let's do that right now so yeah this took some times like for my pc which is very good uh, which has a very good graphic card and cpu and everything uh 
it took five minutes so it might it might take some more time and yeah just gonna you just have to be patient but that's gonna be it for today so if you have any questions just leave it in the comments love you leave a like and goodbye thank you for watching